If we don't act now, the world would get so hot, millions of people will lose their homes and more than 10% of the world's insects, plants and animals will die. That's the grim outlook of a UN report. Scientists of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change say human activity has caused average global temperatures to rise about one degree Celsius since the Industrial Age. And if the warming continues at its current pace, it's likely to get three times as hot in the next 30 years. The IPCC report says sea levels will rise by 10 centimetres if we let warming levels go to 2 degrees Celsius. But not everyone is convinced the report is any more urgent than previous claims on global warming. The US has wanted to pull out of the Paris Agreement on Climate Change since Donald Trump became president. And Australia's Prime Minister believes his country is already doing enough. This report, I should, should be very clear, deals with the global situation. This report does not provide recommendations to Australia or Australia's program. This is dealing with the, the global program. And let's not forget Australia accounts for just over 1% uh, of global emissions. So you know, there are a lot bigger players than us out there impacting on these arrangements. Climate scientists say it's imperative a lot more be done. They say global temperatures are rising so fast, deadlier storms, forest fires and heat waves would be more than ever before. Carbon dioxide emissions would need to decline substantially before 2030 to avoid warming of more than 1.5 degrees C in the middle of the 21st century, followed by large-scale carbon dioxide removal. If we overshoot 1.5 degree global warming, then we would rely on carbon dioxide removal to go back to this level. Early action to limit, to reduce greenhouse gas emissions is possible. There are options available. There are signs that mitigation is going on. But if this is to be achieved, there's an urgent need to accelerate. The IPCC says aggressive action must be taken to reduce carbon emissions in industrial and energy production. But limiting warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius will cost the globe more than $2 trillion between now and 2035. Many are now asking who will pay for that and whether there's still time to curb the impacts of greenhouse gas emissions on the planet. Regan Evans, TRT World.